Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you via the power of video how to analyze the JavaScript in the HTML code that we saw for when we went to the, the website and redirected us to a different domain and then it had obfuscated JavaScript that was Base64 encoded. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is using PDF Stream Dumper. And here we have our JavaScript. It's bless, blissfully not very encoded at all. We have some text down here, and then we have a function that's being evaluated. And the best thing is PDF Stream Dumper is really great at quickly allowing you to view information by just adding the TB which means toolbox. So it'll basically take whatever action that you have here after the, the period, and then it'll add put the results in the toolbox down below. So we're just gonna run this, and we have our information here. Just put this up to the clipboard. It's a bit easier to see. Basically saying it's changing the title of the window to you've been signed out. And it's going to try and create a link to this Blue Voice PGH WordPress content. And it's going to put that in the iframe. So if in case you're wondering, well, what are all these variables? Again, using the TB function, you can actually do TBT, TB.T, which just means to it'll display a variable that whatever variable that you provide it into the toolbar below. So we can do p a c oops t b t k oh t b t e And then you can actually just run this again. So we see here we already have text out and eval. That's what we've already run. So we can run this again. And then we have a lot more. So we, this would be P A C K E D. And then if you notice, this corresponds with the text down here. So what you could do is you could actually go up and then you can start to replace all of these variables with the the code that you have down here and basically this this builds out your evaluate function so it's pretty pretty cool and you can do the same thing here with JS detox so again we have the same script that was deobfuscated using base64 just like PDF stream dumper I can reformat it so it looks a bit prettier I can send it up to here and then with a JSD talks, I can also execute. Also notice you can, you can actually execute eval statements, but we're gonna uncheck that for now. And you can see down here, it says, hey, uh, it's tried to call eval. Then you get the same answer here. So you can send that to be analyzed if, if you want to as well. And just like PDF Stream Dumper again, you can actually be careful with your tabs here. You can't use TBT like I almost did, but you can use just classic JavaScript. So TBT, right? Not uppercase. Just show you one or two here. Let's see. Okay, and then I can execute it again. And you can see here, that's P, that's A, and that's C. So hopefully this shows you guys uh, a couple of different tools of basically getting to the same thing, just depending on which operating system that you feel most comfortable with using.